It's a really exciting 48 to 24 hours. Chandrayaan-3 is geared up to land within a day and, if successful, will become the fourth country to soft land or not crash on the lunar surface. The other three countries, of course, were US, Russia or USSR and China. The mission consists of Vikram Lander and Pragyan Rover. Unfortunately, India's co-traveller, Russia's Luna 25 landing mission, has already crashed into the moon before its landing attempt on the 21st of August. Chandrayaan-3 now has performed two orbit-lowering maneuvers around the moon and is now prepared for its landing attempt on the 23rd of August. So what is the sequence of events? Chandrayaan-3 will begin the landing process at approximately about 5.45 p.m. IST on August 23rd when Vikram will begin descending from an altitude of about 25 kilometers. The entire sequence will be 15 to 20 minutes and the lander is expected to touch down at the lunar south pole at around 6.05 p.m. IST. The Chandrayaan-3 craft has already established a communication link with Chandrayaan-2 orbiter which will be used to relay signals to the lander. Vikram lander of course also directly communicates with Earth while the Pragyan rover will communicate only through the Vikram lander. Once the landing is completed for as yet unknown amount of time, the lander will perform tests and check its payloads and then later Vikram will deploy a ramp for the Pragyan rover to roll out and start roving. What will the mission do? The Vikram lander carries a few payloads that will study local gases, plasma in the environment, variations in gases and plasma, the moon's thermal conductivity and surfaces temperature properties, studying lunar seismicity near the landing site and so on. There is also a passive laser retro reflector array from NASA that will allow for lunar ranging studies and Pragyan has two payloads which will analyze the elemental composition of the soil and the wispy atmosphere near where it lands. The propulsion module which carried the craft from Earth orbit to lunar orbit will also study the Earth's atmosphere from the lunar orbit using its single payload. But we'll talk about all of these payloads separately in a different video. Right now we're looking at what is going to happen just before and just after landing. We already know why Chandrayaan is going to the South Pole due to the presence of liquid water ice there in these heavily cratered regions where there are permanently shadowed regions regions in the moon that hold coal traps or planetary fossils which preserve conditions from the day of formation millions of years ago. Luna has crashed and now we have only one mission to look forward to, the world. And currently Vikram Lander is expected to land between the craters Manzanus C and Sympelius N. Chandrayaan-3 is a technology demonstrator mission. It is built to show India's capability to land a craft safely on the moon. As a result, it has been made cost-effective and is not built to function for a very long time on the moon. The Vikram lander and Pragyan rover both are expected to function only for 14 days, rather one lunar day. One lunar day is equivalent to 14 Earth days. Both craft use solar panels and lack of sun for two weeks after sunset coupled with the extreme cold of the lunar night because there's no atmosphere will render the craft, both of them, powerless and unusable. There are some experts who are guessing that Vikram might be able to function after a 14-day break but that is left to be seen. Currently, 14 Earth days is the expected lifetime of both the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover. But what are the risks for landing? What happened with Chandrayaan-2 and what happened with Luna-25? Let's look at Chandrayaan-2. In 2019, a software glitch caused the Vikram lander to exceed its course and just a mere few seconds before touchdown, the spacecraft lost contact with ISRO and it crashed. Turns out it had crashed about 750 meters away from its intended landing location. ISRO has said that they have improved the lander software and they have also performed extra tests to ensure a safe landing this time. Russia's Luna 25 crashed on the moon after it performed a fuel burn to reach a pre-landing orbit. In the afternoon of August 19 in Russia, communication was lost with the craft. Repeated attempts could not restore communication and a statement later from the Russian space agency Roscosmos said that preliminary analysis indicated that 
the maneuver deviated from the required parameters and the craft entered into an off design orbit which led it to crash onto the surface and cease to exist. This is hopefully not going to be the case with Chandrayaan-3. It is not a competition, but we hope that Chandrayaan does make it to the moon's surface. At the point of contact, just before landing, the lander should be moving at less than 2 meters per second in the vertical direction and less than 0.5 meters per second in the horizontal direction for a safe touchdown. Russia and India and other countries have long cooperated on space missions and have supported each other for decades. The idea of a space race between two nations and multiple nations is a common Cold War era narrative and space industry currently doesn't work that way. ISRO did indeed congratulate Russia on their launch and it would have been nice to have two landers up there. So now where can we watch the landing? Of course, as ever, there will be a live telecast that will be available at multiple places. Channels, of course, such as those Ashan and even National Geographic. And it is also available on several YouTube streams. ISRO will obviously have its own official stream with its commentary. There will be a landing stream on Facebook as well as its YouTube account. The official telecast for the lunar landing of Chandrayaan-3 will begin at 17.20 hours IST or 11.50 hours UTC on August 23rd.